Oh, he broke me off. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it. Oh my God, wait. Holy shit. I see the pads moving. I'm gonna see if I can run this fish down. What's going on y'all? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. If you're new to the channel, thanks for clicking on the video. I really appreciate it. If you do like the video, please leave me a like. It lets me know that you guys enjoy the content. On top of that, if you're new and you want to see some more content like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I put up new videos every Monday and Friday, so if you're wanting to look for some new videos, I got some new ones twice a week. Today we're out here at one of my favorite little bodies of water. As y'all can see, there's cheese galore. So obviously we're going to be doing some frogging today. Uh, I also brought a couple other rods just in case they're not really eating the frog. I also brought out something kind of cool and sneaky that I recently got and uh, I'm going to show you all what it is. Hopefully we can catch some fish on it. I've never fished it before or thrown it or anything so it'll be a first for you and me. But yeah, there's a few people rolling up right now so I'm just going to get to fishing real quick and hopefully we can get on a few big ones. And we're off. So originally when I pulled up, I thought I saw uh, some people, or actually not some people on a kayak, but a van with some kayak carts or something. I don't really know how to describe it. But uh, it's pretty sure that there were some other people down here on a kayak. And I think I'm right. I think they're just over on the other side of the pond. So I'm gonna just kinda, chill out here hopefully not get in their way and they won't get in mine it does feel good to be back on the kayak though it's been a minute since I've taken this thing out Let's see if we can't get on some fish actually you know what hold that thought I'm actually gonna tie on the uh, new secret little lure that I have right now see if maybe just maybe and get on a couple of fish with that. Anywho, this is what I'm talking about. If you guys saw my Cabela's unboxing, uh, I got a couple of these little, what they're called, the slither rigs. And uh, essentially it's just like a weedless um, jig. And so what I'm gonna try and do with this is since there's an ounce weight, I'm gonna try and punch it through some of this nasty stuff. So, in case you guys don't know how to rig one of these things up, I'll show you real fast. What you do is you grab a bobber stop. I actually like to put two on, just because it's a little bit of a heavier weight. And also these aren't very heavy bobber stops. Alright, once you have your bobber stops on the line, like I do, then you're just going to take your punch rig, run the line through that little hole in the middle, just like you would a normal bullet weight. Hang on. There we go. Then you take a hook, tie said hook on with your knot of choice. I usually use the improved clinch knot. Um, supposedly you want to use a snell knot for this. But in my experience, snell knots really only help when you're using snell hooks or flipping hooks, whatever you want to call them. And we're not doing that today, so I'm just going to tie an average knot on this heavy wire EWG hook. I think it's a 3 aught, maybe? Then you take whatever soft plastic you want to use. Today we're going to be using a little beaver lure. This is a Strike King... Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's their beaver. Just gonna rig it on like you would a normal Texas rig. Easy peasy. Now here, instead of pushing that hook all the way through, you actually want to keep the hook completely in the plastic. Just so it's hundo percent weedless. So you're gonna pull that back down, push your bobber stops down, 
And there's a punch rig, pretty much just like a weedless jig. And so what you're going to do with this is you're just going to find some weeds and plop her on in. Oh, that's fun. Huh, look at that. The skirt on my punch rig already has fallen apart. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Not. Oh, oh by Strike King, by Strike King. Their stuff is so good. It's long lasting and it's durable and it catches a lot of fish. Long lasting and durable, my ass. All right, frog is tied back on. Hopefully, this doesn't fall apart on me. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. There we go. First one of the day, finally, on that frog. <laughs> got him right in the schnoz. He got both them little hook points right where you want them. Not a bad little fish. Long, skinny guy. You got to eat some more real food, brother. Later, homie. 10 out of 10 for that dive right there. Dude, hell yeah, he messed my frog up, Jesus. Freaking tore the whole damn thing off. <laughs> All right, there we go. First fish of the day. I honestly barely even saw him hit it. He just kind of came up and sucked it under. Little frog I'm using today. I think it's a Savage Gear. I'm not 100% sure, but it's an okay little frog. I bought them because they were really cheap and uh, as you can tell, the weight has gone out of this one, but it still, you know, chucks pretty good, and the fish still eat it, so I'm still going to throw it. See if we can get ourselves another Juan. Man, that was such a freaking sick eat, dude. He came up, like, right over here, just straight up out of these weeds and just sucked it in. He broke me off. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it. Oh my God, wait. Holy shit. I see the pads moving. I'm gonna see if I can run this fish down. Just grab my line from some, oh, there's my line, there's my line, there's my line. Is he still on there? Oh, he's for sure still on there. Oh my God, this is gonna be the craziest thing ever if I still have this fish. Is he still on there? Oh my God, I think he's still there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Where's the end of my line? It's around here somewhere. I think I still feel a fish on there. I can't tell. Oh my God. Maybe. Oh my God, I think he's still on there. Folks, I think he's still on there. Oh my God. Well, my frog's in here somewhere. Maybe there's a fish on here somewhere. Maybe they're, ow, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I hope there's a fish on here somewhere. That would be so sick. I don't feel anything. 
but then again he's probably all up in this grass if he is still there Ooh, oh my god i still have him it's a big fish holy cow he's still right there. i got him <laughs> oh my god <laughs> dude that's me the frog just fell out did you guys see that was I recording? Yes, I was recording. Oh my God, that was the craziest thing that I've ever done. <sighs> wow. Ah. <sighs> Man, look at that. He's got a little leech on him too. Ew, that's gross. Freaking long fish right here. It's got all lesions on the side. That's a gross looking fish, but we got him. Nice long one. All right, fella, I'm gonna let you back. I'm so, dude. <sighs> oh my God, all right. Give me a second and then I'm gonna explain what just happened because I don't know if you guys got that, but that was just nuts. Ow, I cut my finger open on that braid. <sighs> Okay, so, in case you didn't really get what just happened, um, I threw my frog way up over here shallow. Fish blew up on it. Here's my frog. But anyway, threw my frog way up over here by this tree to my left. Fish blew up on it within like two casts. Set the hook. Fish broke me off. Which, y'all might be like, you're using, obviously, way too thick braid. Like, how the hell could he possibly break you off? Well, if you look on my frog and rod, you can see that there's some, uh, well, this is like 10-pound mono on there. And that's my backing. Usually people put backing on a frog and reel, or like any reel that you're using braid on, just so that um, it doesn't slip when you set the hook, because if you've ever seen, like, braid gets cinched down together like gets real hard to get everything untangled and such that kind of prevents that some the issue though is that you don't have braid that goes all the way down to the bottom of your reel and uh since y'all can see i have a pretty heavy braid on here uh, i can't really fit a ton a ton of line on here at the moment so i put this little backing on there and uh put a bunch of line on but I guess I didn't put enough on and this happens pretty often like if you pay attention to me casting with my frog and reel sometimes you'll see um, it'll go all the way down to the backing like all the uh, braid will be off of here and uh, so that's not optimal obviously when you're uh, you know fishing heavy cover like we are today but I figured hey you know what like may as well save me a little bit of line save me a little bit of money stop it from slipping, you know, the whole nine. But when I set the hook, um, I didn't have any braid on my reel, so it just snapped clean off. And so, yeah, the frog broke off, but um, the braid was just kind of out on the water. But I caught my reel, or I caught my braid, hand lined the fish in, didn't think the fish was still on, but he was, and uh, it turned out to be a pretty good fish, so no complaints there other than the fact that I just toasted my whole frog and set up yeah see so like this is like the connection knot that connected the main line to the uh, that uh, backing and as you can see like it snapped it didn't even snap at the knot it just snapped on the backing so wasn't much I could have done there I'm using pretty light backing which isn't a good idea I think after this I'm gonna put braid all the way down the line all the way down to the uh, bottom of the reel I mean this is kind of an issue now because I can't throw a frog anymore, which is obviously what they're eating pretty good here. So, um, we're going to go see if we can find some other fish on the other side of the pond. There's a bite. Got one. <sighs> a 
little fella on the jig. A little jig jig. Hooked him through the bottom of the lip. I don't know how I managed to do that, but. Small Juan. Littlest one of the day by quite a bit. Still appreciated though. It's the first cast swimming it. I was actually just fishing this like a normal jig in between the uh, weeds, but decided to try and swim it like a swim jig and he wanted it. There's a bite. There's another fish. A little bit better one. A little bit better one. There we go. Two on the jig, swimming it. No problem. Easy money. A little bit bigger than the last one. So this little jig that I'm using right now is just a little, um, it's a Strike King, uh, I think it's called the Bitsy Bug. Very tiny jig, little quarter ounce. I actually intended to flip this, but um, swimming it works fine too. All good to have just, it's always good to have just like a smaller profile jig on hand, just in case. You're fishing somewhere with a little bit more finessey fish or a little bit more pressured. A little swim jig is always a good sign or a good call. And then to downsize your swim jig, you're obviously just going to get some more bites that you wouldn't have normally gotten on a regular swim jig. Little guy, little, little, little. Number five, though. Wow, he is tiny. Holy cow. Well, uh, thanks, I guess. He freaking wanted it, but he choked it. But, geez, okay. We well, got the right attitude, little man, but gonna need a little bit of a bigger size from you. If you're gonna make my day. I kinda knew I was gonna get bit on that cast, to be honest. I was like, mm, that might be the cast that I needed to make right there. And believe it or not, it was. This wasn't exactly the size we were looking for. Oh my god. Is that a fish? Oh my god, I have a fish on. I have a fish on and I've cast it all the way behind me. Oh my god, this is so awkward. I literally cast it to turn myself around and I have a fish on, I think. He might still be there. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Is there a fish there? Oh yeah. Another little fellow, but he's there. He's in there somewhere. <laughs> Number six, nice. Another little guy. Ooh, can y'all see that? I don't know if you can see in his mouth, but he's got a couple little uh, crawfish painters. He's got some crawdiddy painters in there. Cool, interesting. See ya, bud. Man, that was actually insane i did not think that i was getting bit i thought i was just stuck in the grass and then i pulled and it pulled back and i was like hmm grass don't usually do that all right folks that's it i'll call it gotta go run home and 
get some homework done because summer classes suck. Not a bad day of fishing though. We uh, caught a couple big ones on a frog. Almost lost the frog, but then got it back and got it out of the fish's mouth and caught the fish, which was fantastic. I still seriously think that's probably one of the best, if not the best, fish catch of my whole life. Just so insane, so much stuff going on. Didn't think the fish was on, then I didn't think that I was gonna get it. I caught myself a bunch of times on the line. It's just a hell of a time. And then just rounding off the day with a few good fish on a old fashioned swim jig. All in all, no complaints from me, man. It was a bang up day of fishing in my book.